Out of all the 80 mm Arctic fans that exist for regular human beings, and I said regular human beings, so uh, ignore this one, there is still one left. And it's a special one, because if you judge it by the stats alone, it's actually not that much for regular human beings. This is the Arctic P8 Max, the very, very quick spinning version of the P8 Silent we looked at before. Compared to the other ones, this one is very easy. There is exactly one version the max. This one comes with a 400mm long PWM connection and a bag of screws and that's it. No PVM, PST subversion that you can daisy chain uh, multiple fans to each other, which I find to be quite unfortunate considering that this thing pulls less than 0.2 amps so you could safely daisy chain like four of these even on the most trashy motherboards. Anyway, as I said, PWM controllable but the stats, they are they are max, up to 5000 RPM, up to 40 CFM and up to 5.3 millimeters of H2O. So even for its tiny whiny 80 millimeter size, what this thing produces in terms of CFM isn't that far off of the regular 120 millimeter P12, which of course is like due to the ridiculous 5000 RPM speed. Other than the stats, the P8 Max is basically just the P8 silent on steroids. We got the exact same blade design, the frame is simple yet reinforced here and there and to be honest if it wasn't me who put these here i wouldn't have a clue which is which and with all of that said let's have a look at the benchmarks but before that again it's an 80 millimeter fan so do not expect it to perform like a regular 120 this is server type of stuff and even arctic says so apparently they made this thing specifically for two eu servers so ridiculous static pressure which this thing has and just a tiny whiny bit of air which is very normal in, in the server space. And to benchmark these we strapped them to the case simulator where we measure the performance by looking at the CPU temperature underneath a passive Nokia P1 and where the fans are just recycling the air within the box. Here we reused our new 80mm adapter plates allowing us to compare them to 120s or 140s just because it's funny but we will focus the results mainly on the 80 millimeter fan comparison. First we start with the fans at full blast and then we lower the fan speed in 10% steps to get a noise to performance curve. Here again it's an 80 millimeter fan so we had to move the dB meter to 30 centimeter away from the fan otherwise everything would be noise floor and with that let's have a look at the results. Spinning at the max 5000 rpm the P8 maxes did some significant damage. Keeping the CPU at 44.4 degrees C above ambient they outperformed the P8 slims by 3.9 degrees C and compared to the P8 Silent, which was exactly the same fan, just 3400 RPM slower, there the difference ended up being 12 degrees C. So yeah, making a fan spin three times its original speed can have a, a, a huge effect on performance, who would have thought. And just because I like doing it, let's see what a 5000 RPM mini fan can do against regular 120s. Funnily enough, a very very small fan spinning at brutal speed can do a whole lot of stuff, because if we allow every fan to be on the graph, the P8 Max doesn't stand in such a bad position. All the very very slow spinning fans are worse, all the very slim fans are also worse, and just the overall bad fans worse as well. And as for the comparison I made before, the regular P12 isn't that far away from the P8. Just keep in mind that one is spinning very, very, very fast at 5000 RPM and the other one at just 1800. So uh, yeah, and the noise, it's a 5000 RPM quick fan. But as surprising as it may seem, it's not actually that bad. Sure, at the very end, it's pretty loud. Here again, it's 30 centimeters apart from the dB meter. So don't forget how noise behaves over distances. But once you normalize it down to the level of a P8 Slim A fan, which is not really that loud overall, the fan blade design of the P8 Max is definitely the better choice and you can deliver a quite a bit better performance at the same noise or the exact same performance at a much much lower noise. And going down from there the difference stays relatively the same until both of them just start moving towards noise floor. So the Arctic P8 Max, an impressive little thing, despite its cute size, this thing can push. And if you are in a situation where you only have the space for an 80mm fan, be it in a very small case, a NAS, a, a weirdly shaped case, or just a server, out of all the P8s meant for regular people, 
this is definitely the best choice. It's got the noise to performance, the performance headroom in case you need it, and considering this thing costs only five and a half bucks right now, I, I would take this one. Out of all of the Arctic P8s, I would take the Max. Of course, this is not a 120mm fan. If you can fit, for example, a P12, take a P12. But as for 80mm fans, out of the three we tested so far, this one. But okay, this should be everything on the Arctic P8 Max. And at this point, a huge thank you to Arctic for sending this cute little fella over. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server. So if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership. So if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get this thing a mini throne, because putting it on the 120mm throne would look kind of stupid. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to keep going, have a look at the other 80mm fan video where we compared the P8 Slim versus the P8 Silent. And on that note, uh, next up is the Noctua Redux P8 and the regular A8, so uh, we still got some 80mm fans left to be covered. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.